All right, guys, so as I mentioned in my last video, I'm gonna put my keys away. All right, as I mentioned in my last video, we need to get some hardware uh, for this plate. And then we got a couple other bolts that we gotta get for like um, our uh, traction bar and stuff like that. So we're gonna hop in and go straight to True Value. This is the place I go for all my hardware. So it's my store I go to. I normally come here to get, cause they have the 10.9s and the 12 uh, gray bolts. Those are like your strong, stronger bolts that you can get. Man, it's a really good price too. So way cheaper than like going to Home Depot or like Lowe's. So it's kind of why I just come here. And it's like never a line, you know, how to wait no line or anything. So what I do, come over to the chart. This is the chart. What we do is we get our bolt, we put it inside and we try to figure out which one is. So normally they'll have like M10 by one, M10 by 1.2, M10 by 1.5. So what you do is when you put your bolt in, let's say your bolt goes in and gets stuck after like a couple turns, that's not a good thing to do. So what you wanna do is you wanna put your bolt in and you want to make sure it goes all the way in like that. See how it keeps turning. So this bolt is an M10 by 1.25. Oh, so that's what this bolt is. Okay. Uh, the next bolt, oh, I'm sorry. So the next bolt, you want to try to get this the same thing. Like I said, you want to put it in and you want to make sure it turns. This one didn't turn that much. So it's not that, it might be a one, it might be the same. Yep, it's the same. All right, so this bowl is the same as the other one. So it's M10 by 1.25. Then we have this little brake screw that we're gonna try to find. Um, we'll try to find this one. Actually, no, it's M5 by 1, 1 by 0 0.8. So that's what these are. So um, next we gotta figure out what these screws are. They're threaded. Um, we'll figure that out after. Let's grab our N12s by 1.25, I think it said. So I come over here and I try to find a match to it. So what we need is a, M was it M12? I think it was M10 actually. Is it M10? Oh, it was M10. Okay, so it's M10 by 1.25. So let's try to find. Here we go, M10 by 1.25, and it's a 10.9, so that's a strong bolt. So what I do, get my bolt, put my bolt here, and then we'll try to match it. Oh God, that's not the same, all right. Uh, it's uh, almost the same. I think this should be it right here. Oh, those are shorter. Uh, these are shorter I'm trying to find the perfect match so this would be as close as we can get to it it's about close as we can get to it we need two of those so i'll probably just grab these two right here put these two back um this other bolt we needed six of these so um try to get as close to that there's uh one two three four five six so it's perfect actually so we really didn't need it close to this one at all because this is for the um the traction bar like i was saying so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all six of these in our traction bar so that's perfect and we got two of these um and uh what else do we need oh we need the little little tiny screw for the for the uh, brake plate which was an M5 by 0 0.8. Uh, see if we can even find that. We probably can't even find that. Uh, uh, M5 by 0 0.8, those are hex screws. We don't want those. Let's see, let's see, let's see. M5 by 0 0.8, these. So right here, I'll tell you the prices and all the sizes. So what we need, we need one to match up with this one i'm going with the allens because the allens are a little bit better the screws kind of get stripped if they get stuck in there so dudes we grab one of these um i don't want that size let's go with a smaller one see if we can find a smaller like this one 
Uh, I think we need six of these. So we're gonna go with the smaller one like that and we're gonna put a washer on it. Actually, no, we'll go with that one and put a washer on it. Cause I think this one has a washer, yeah. So we're gonna go with this one and then we're gonna put a little washer on it. Uh, we need six of those. Let's see if we can grab six. Uh, that's three. It's four. Come on. It's five. And hopefully this is. No, it doesn't match. That's the only one that doesn't match. All right. So when that happens, <sighs> we'll be good. Cause I, what I'm gonna do, I probably just reuse one of the screws with all these new hardware. Sucks, but they kind of don't have anything in the other option because somebody put this one in the wrong spot. Um, what is that? Yeah, so it's by 12. All right, so let's find washers for these and let's head out of here. All right, so we got all our fasteners and stuff for uh, like five under five bucks. Uh, now we have to try to get some bubble wrap for these axles. I'm shipping those axles out to a guy and um, got to ship them out later today. So I'm about to stop right here at UPS. That's over here somewhere and grab some bubble wrap so we can ship that stuff out. And then we can head over to Southwest to try to get all this other stuff done. Angel's over here pressing in our customers' studs while we have to press ours in as well. So once he's done, I'm start pressing in my studs for the Honda. Hopefully I don't break it. It's my first time ever doing this, but Angel got my back, so we good. Why did I space out and forget there was fucking five lugs on there? I'm like, oh yeah, you on the last one, the fourth one. <laughs> the last one's a bitch, dude. Oh, is it? The press the one different. Oh, shoot, I see, yeah. Uh... Looking for a socket? Yeah, a little chrome socket. Oh, the chrome one? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Don't do this at home. You said what? <laughs> don't do this at home. Oh, yeah, facts. We are paid professionals. Well, I ain't professional or paid, but you know. Tough. <laughs> it's done. See, just like that. Boom. Just for this man to go 11 second passes now, but <laughs> imagine. <laughs> sure, let's get mines done now, then. <laughs> and we just got four to do mine. Ugh. That's how you do it right there. Yes, sir. Look at this compared to like the old one. The old one. New one. That's gonna help us a lot. So let's get this second one done. All right, man. So we got our studs installed. And then we also have our bearings installed. Don't mind the bearings are two different colors. Same brand, just different bearings uh, bought from two different stores. That's all it is. Bought this one over and bought this one at AutoZone. So, same brand, just two different you know stores I purchased it from. So, the thing I need is the ball joint press in. I need that, I need that tool from AutoZone, and I also need the the ring that goes in here 
Uh, I don't know what I did with them. I swear I had them here and then I took them home and lost them. But we need the ring that, that presses into this as well. And then we'll be able to press these into the hubs. I mean, into the uh, bearings. So for now, we're going to stop here. Let's start packing up the Subi axles. I almost, almost forgot all about that. So we're shipping off some Subi, Subaru axles to this guy. I uh, bought them from the marketplace. So let's get those all packed up. We got the axles all boxed up, uh, ready to get shipped. So we're gonna head over to UPS, ship this off, and then we're gonna head to AutoZone and go get those clips. Uh, I said I wasn't gonna come back, I was gonna come back tomorrow, but I figured if we can get it done today, we might as well get it done today, that way we're not working on this stuff all day tomorrow. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rush over uh, to AutoZone after I drop this off and just grab them in bring them back here so that way we can use the press and press them in so we found we got our hands finally on some mini cooper 280 mil rotors uh, so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take these to the shop test fit them onto the onto the knuckle with the brake caliber i'm about to actually grab the brake caliber because i gotta uh, paint the brake caliber tomorrow and then tomorrow we're gonna put all that together i also found the rings for the wheel bearing got my hands on the rings the part number is nine three three four five six that's the part number if you ever lose your rings that's the part number for an ex well they said it's universal that you can use them on a bunch of models but for mine what i searched up was for my model so that's the part number um so right now i'm just here to install a couple parts we got in the mail all right so we got our uh traction bar in i just wanted to throw it in and get rid of some of these boxes this level's land over here so the traction bar is in got the cables in um we had a little billet plate uh that goes inside the car to hold the cables that was like something i bought from k-tune but i cannot install it flat so i have to take the cables back out and beat the tunnel up a little bit so where this plate sits like you know like instead of being flat it's gonna sit at an angle so i'm gonna beat the tunnel up a little bit and then uh i just got word that my plate came in so that's at home i wish i would stay home a little longer i probably would have been able to bring that but uh, Paige has my plate so we're gonna go home get something to eat go home and then start back fresh tomorrow so it's been a long day man but we're almost there we're almost there uh one thing i am missing is my bolts that go here i don't i don't know where they're at they're probably in the car um uh they're somewhere over there maybe I, I don't know i have to find those uh they're in here somewhere i just gotta find them i don't know where these bolts are if i have to i can go to the junkyard and pull some really don't want to but you can but that's all i got for y'all for today like, comment, subscribe. I catch y'all in that next video. Peace.